Okay guys, so happy Christmas because it's snowing. Just kidding. But in all seriousness, today we are going to be taking a look at my personal defense AK. And I know I've been keeping this under wraps for a while in the channel and the project in general. But I thought today, because I've broken it out in some other videos today, I thought we'd go over what all this personal defense AK is and kind of how I set it up for myself and kind of why I did everything I did and why I didn't do anything else. So now let's jump into it. So without wasting too much of your time, I do want to note that the gun, because there are those safety people out there, the gun is unloaded. Magazine is just there for show because the AK looks a little weird without it. And of course, bolts open. You guys can see I'm now going to drop the bolt because it's snowing and I don't want a whole bunch of snow up in the uh, receiver. So, anyways, that out of the way, now we can actually take a look at the AK. So, starting off with what the AK is, this is of course a Sentry Arms C39 V2, and so that's basically a Sentry Arms. Um, milled receiver American made AK and I was really attracted to this because of course I like the milled receiver that the or I like milled receiver AKs they have a nice weight to them they also have a really solid build to them of course there are many thousands and probably millions of stamp receiver AKs and they work just fine however for myself personally I wanted to make sure that I got a really thick and nice durable mill receiver milled receiver AK. So anyways, so that's the base platform of this and like I said it is American made and personally I've heard a lot of people kind of trash talking the Sentry Arms C39s and I believe that really happened because some of the imported uh, Sentry Arms AKs like the Wasser 10s and stuff used to have really bad quality control on them and they were not so great but honestly these American made uh, AKs that Sentry has been making are fantastic I really haven't heard any complaints on them and they're overall really solid rifles so that's basically where it started and that's where I started with this kind of gun now of course this is the Magpul version and the reason why I have <laughs> gravitated toward the Magpul edition of this gun is because actually it was what my intentions were originally was to either get an AK that had Magpul furniture or get an AK and put Magpul furniture on it and it's actually the MOE furniture that I wanted from the get-go because personally with starting off with the stock I really didn't like the uh, flimsy collapsible stocks they had a little bit of rattle in them and honestly the first time I shouldered the fixed AK MOE stock I was like, dang, this is a really freaking solid stock, and it feels really good in the shoulder, but at the same time, being polymer, it's lighter than a wood stock. It also, as you guys can quite clearly see, has a big hole right here, which takes a good chunk out of the weight. So not only is it lighter than the wood stock, but it has just as much firmness in the shoulder as a traditional fixed or wooden stock. So. That initially attracted me, plus you also have the quintessential QD mounts, which we'll get to in a little bit, but allow you to quickly pop on and off your sling mounts if you want that. So I was also attracted to the MOE stock for that reason. Then going up forward, like I said, we have the MOE foregrip, and I wanted the MOE foregrip because a couple reasons, one being that once again it's polymer, it's lightweight, it also, something that I like about Magpul is, <coughs> is they put full heat shielding um, behind this polymer, so when you're sitting there and you're chunking through rounds, regardless to how accurate or inaccurate that is in a firefight, it does a really good job at shielding your hand from heat up front because of the metal heat shielding that's behind the plastic. Not to mention, you also get really nice abilities to mount on different things on your front rail if you want to add different like foregrips or stuff like that. Like I said, it makes the AK lighter and you can definitely tell it's a little bit hard when you're just holding a polymer AK, but I will say when you do get, uh, like when you hold a wooden furniture AK versus this, you can feel that this, this thing's about a pound lighter and it feels a lot lighter, especially when you shoulder it. It feels noticeably lighter and I really do like that part about it. So the next thing uh, that I was thinking about adding to this that I actually didn't 
is a foregrip. I was actually thinking of throwing on an angled foregrip right about here. And that's certainly something that I could have easily done to the AK. But after thinking, I did really want to keep um, this gun really low drag, as low drag as possible. I know people are going to like give me hell in the magazine because they're like, oh, it's so long. But, you know, the magazine I can kind of get around because it holds 30 rounds for the gun as opposed to a forward grip where I've shot some different guns that had angled forward grips and they certainly do help to a degree. But I felt that honestly, I can get a good enough lock up, especially because it kind of has a little lip right here on the AK furniture. So you can kind of put forward pressure against that lip when you shoot the gun like this. And so honestly, I didn't really feel the need to have a foregrip after all. And like I said, being uh, that I wanted to keep this gun, the primary kind of like reason for the build or primary thing for this build, I guess, kind of theme is to keep the gun as low drag as possible and have as little things sticking off of it. That's also a reason why I didn't add any optics and probably not going to add any optics because I don't really need the optics for my kind of personal defense range. I'm not going to be going more than 100 yards, 100 meters out. And at that range, um, my eyes are good enough that I can actually see really well and hit things out to 100 yards reliably with this rifle. I've done it before and so I do have some experience with that. So I didn't really feel the need to add an optic or any kind of like red dot or anything like that because I wanted to keep the gun on the top end as low drag as possible. Obviously this adds a little bit of drag but it's really not that bad especially compared to having some type of optic like sitting here or sitting here. Next to that of course you guys will notice this tan piece of Cordura like strap hanging off. Of course this is a Magpul MS3 I believe it is the MS3 sling and the reason why I went with the MS3 is for the quick detach of course up front you have a little claw so this little claw fits really well to uh, it's a little bit hard to see but there's a little metal bit kind of here right on the gas block and so this piece just clips right in there and then you lock it up and then of course after I totally mess my sling up here <laughs> so getting back to it then on the back you have a quick detach swivel you guys can see there so really nice and like I said what I like about the sling is and the reason why I went for the MS3 is it's really easy to just get rid of the sling if I don't need it or want it but at the same time it's also nice plus I have it set up so that I can have it slung over my shoulder like this so I can carry it and have the rifle sitting like this and then when I'm ready level it and if you guys can see here <laughs> so if you guys can see here um, hopefully somehow you guys can see here that uh, it really helps lock up with my arms so not only do I have a convenient way of carrying it when I grab it it locks up and helps me steady my shots a little bit better so I like that part about the MS3 as well and so that's another reason why I went with the MS3 because like I said I wanted to be able to carry it and then be able to transition over to my handgun like that so that's part of the reason why I chose the MS3 and I really like uh, how it fits on me and the gun. So anyways guys, that's pretty much all. Other than that, I did get of course more Magpul magazines. These things, they're really cheap but really well made. What I like about the Magpul magazines is it's a little bit deceiving because there's some spring noise but there is actually like no rattle whereas I have some like Bulgarian I think they're Bulgarian but they're like just stamped sheet metal magazines and they like rattle in the freaking gun of course it doesn't really stop the functionality of the magazine so I keep them around but I like these Magpul ones because they're one really lightweight and two they actually mate with AK receivers really well so anyways guys, that's all I have to say about my personal defense AK. Like I said, there's 101 different opinions on how to outfit your tactical rifles, what tactical rifle to go with. Personally for me, I like the AK, I like the stopping power of the 7.62x39, and I know there are some range differentials between the 5.56 and the 7.62x39, but for me personally, being in Alaska, there isn't really a lot of like ranged shooting, um, especially 
in kind of environments like this where there's just tons and tons of forest everywhere there's really a not a, a lot of like 100 yards isn't even a feasible shot where I am actually right now there's nowhere I can see that's directly 100 yards away without there being lots of brush and trees so like I said I wasn't really going with range in mind rather I was focusing more on having something that was compact or compact enough easy to carry and it had a good amount of stopping power. So, so lastly is the purposes for this gun. Of course, like I said, is my personal defense AK. So I know some people may not love this whole thing, but this gun is ultimately the home defense gun and the truck gun. If you guys have watched other videos, you'll know more about that. But I like to keep it around as a home defense gun as well, because I know some people, like I said, who live in apartments, this isn't a very appropriate gun to have if it's in close quarters, but actually in the more spaced out Alaska, this is a far better gun than a handgun. Anyways guys, that's all for now. God bless and I'm out.